Hi everyone, today I'm going to be installing OEM cross rails on a 2019 Infiniti QX60. Alright, so the first thing we're going to do is open up the rear door and step on top here. And we need to remove these four covers. One, two, and then two on this side. Right there, and right there. So these covers are just clipped in and can be removed with a flat edge screwdriver. So there's just a little slot there underneath. I don't know if you can see it. So what we're gonna do is just insert our screwdriver here and pop these clips off. And we'll repeat that for the other three. So the two cross rails are not the same. Um, there's a wider one for the front and a shorter one for the rear. And as you can see, the front one is just a hair longer. So if we flip this over, we'll also be able to tell that the front one is labeled with an FR, so that's going to be the front right side, and we want the arrow pointing towards the front of the car. Alright, so we're ready to put these cross rails in place. So what I'm going to do first is I'm going to loosen these four Torx screws here just a tiny bit and get the... Uh, get the cross rail in place. Uh, I'm going to put the screws in here and then once I have all these four screws aligned with these screws here that were provided then I will take it back off and tighten these guys up. Okay so with the arrow pointing towards the front of the car I got the rear one on here and I'm just going to slide it into the place and I'm going to twist these until the holes line up and make sure that they slide in properly. Right, just thread them by hand for now and I'll do the other side and once those are all lined up I will take it back off and retighten those two screws there. So we have all four screws that are threading nicely now. I did have to twist this one to get it in place so it's good that we didn't uh, tighten these completely here and now that I've done that I'm just going to remove these again and we'll retighten those. Okay so these two screws have now been tightened as well as these two. So we're ready to put the rail back on the rear side. So now we're just gonna secure the cross rail with the screws that were provided. You can see that they did put some thread locker on here so that they shouldn't come off. I'm just gonna tighten them all four by hand first on both sides. And once they're all kind of tightened as far as they go by hand, I'm just gonna use the Allen key that was provided and secure them in place. All right, so the other side is now tight. So we just a reminder to make sure that the arrow is pointing towards the front of the car. Uh, so that'll give you a little bit of a angle towards the rear. So the, I don't know if you can see that, but the cross rail is kind of angled to the, towards the back of the car. And now we're ready to repeat the same process on the front. Okay, so we have that front side in place. As you can see on this side, uh, you definitely have to adjust this so that the holes line up. There we go. So once the holes are lined up, then we can seam on this one, and then we can remove this piece again and tighten those screws that are underneath. All right, so we got the front rail in place, two screws down that side, arrow pointing towards the front of the car, and now we're ready to just tighten these two by hand just to make sure that the this piece lines up so sometimes you have to just wiggle it around a bit and make sure that the holes line up and they go in nice and easy first and once all four have been tightened by hand we can secure it the rest of the way with the allen key Those four screws are now tightened on the front one. And as you can see, just like the rear one, it's just angled back just a bit towards the rear of the car. Even though these screws have thread locker on them, I have seen them uh, wiggle free over time. Um, probably just because of the vibrations uh, when you have things mounted on the crossbar. So what I'm gonna do is make sure that I keep this uh, Allen key in the car with me at all times. A good spot to keep it is just in this rear hatch panel here. So you can just open that up and I have a bunch of other tools here. So I'm just gonna probably throw it in there with all those. 
That's how to install cross rails on a 2019 Infiniti QX60. Hope this video helps somebody else.